to do before we even start the workout is take a moment, just kind of check in with ourselves, see how we're feeling, see how our, our heart rate might be. If you want to actually check your heart rate, remember you can do that in a couple different ways. And there we go. I got myself on YouTube now. Hey, self on YouTube. That's going to be weird. All right, here we are back into the house. And we already got everybody muted. Karen is on the mute. And so everybody, we have set off now into our workout. We are now shooting up into the satellites, coming down into all our friends on their YouTube channel. So welcome to all our friends on YouTube. If you're following along with us in the live workout, remember there's an opportunity. If you want to join us on Zoom, you're going to be able to do that. Um, and also keep in mind that a lot of these workouts soon, we're going to be having them live on the app. So again, check out the cool shirt. Thanks to Coach Marty. Everybody sent me this really awesome True Fit Adaptive Fitness shirt on the sleeve. You can see no limits, only possibilities. You know, that's Austin from All Wheels Access. That's his motto. And on the back, check it out. The breathing motto. So now anybody who's behind me, maybe at the grocery store doing that last minute of holiday shopping, they can read the breathing motto and just relax. Everybody now for us on the live show tomorrow is Thanksgiving. It's a holiday. A lot of folks are going to be really kind of maybe feasting it up, maybe having some, uh, you know, some food, maybe extra food, even maybe multiple times throughout the day, maybe just some abnormal kind of daily diet. You know, a lot of us maybe kind of have a routine and tomorrow that routine might get changed up. So that's okay. But what we're going to do today is we're going to try to get ahead of that and we're going to work that off. We're going to start with the breathing motto. I think we got my mom and my aunt are going to do it again. We're going to do it in a different style. And so I don't know what kind of style last time they did a really nice um, kind of do it. You guys Ready? Are on. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in the good. Breathe out the bad. Breathe in the happy. Breathe out the sad. <laughs> breathe, out, breathe in your best. And breathe out that worst. Breathe in your power. So you reach your goals first. Oh, great job. That's the ones and twos, everybody. That's what we call doing the ones and twos. I love that breathing motto. Remember, everyone, me and Bernie, we created that breathing motto over six years ago when we were jogging around the village green, just singing along and having a great time. And we wanted to always remember to breathe. So, you know, that's something you can do anytime. Bernie's talking about doing the breathing motto at the end. That might be a great idea. Um, everybody remember, you got to remember to breathe. And even when we are in the activity or before an activity, after an activity, maybe we're uh, feeling a little anxious. Maybe we're feeling nervous. Think about that breathing motto. I do it. And, uh, it's going to help to kind of get you to calm down a little. It's going to help to get you into the moment. So today we're going to have a fun workout. We have a new boxing video that we're going to do. Uh, we're going to follow along. It'll be different from the boxing routine, but also something to get our heart beating. And hopefully we'll be able to have some leadership on here in a little bit. We might even get Coach Emily joining us because she wasn't able to get here on Monday, but I know she wants to join us. Uh, if not today, then maybe on Friday. So let's get ready. We did the breathing motto. If you want to have a sip of water, go ahead. You can have a sip of water. If you want to have any equipment ready, uh, for the boxing, you won't need equipment, but in just a little while, we're going to do some exercises with the stretchy band. Uh, and then we're also, we talked to one of our co-hosts about doing an exercise with a water bottle. So if you want to get those now, or if you want to ask somebody to get you a water bottle, or if you have a stretchy band to get you that stretchy band, that would be terrific. And we'll probably do that in maybe about 20 minutes or so we'll need those. But let's start off with our uh, our head and neck and getting everything moved around. And again, we got a neat little background on here. So let's go with our traditional moves. Let's just get our body kind of warmed up and get right into the action. Let's go right and left. Let's go 10 times. So we'll go five on each. So let's go over here. We're going to go one. And then just go ahead and move at, at whatever speed feels good to you. On Monday, we did a lot of variety with the speed and the tempo. But today I want you just to do what feels good to you. Just move in that head, 
side to side. And I'm not even going to really count too good on these. We're just going to do what feels about right. Let's do one more going this way and one more going that way. Nice job. All right, let's go ahead and do the up and down. So remember, we talked about where our axis is. It's right up in here. And we're going to go down and up. And again, just do this at a speed that feels good to you. Remember to keep your body position nice and tall. Your ribs, your ribs aren't going to be all stacked right now. They're going to be kind of apart and kind of keeping your, your whole torso here is going to be upright and tall. And then we're just going to bring that chin down. And let's do one more in each position going down and up. Nice job. All right, let's go ahead and look at going side to side, but using the down and up as well. So this is going to be the rainbows. We got the rainbow going down and we got the rainbow going up. Let's do five of the rainbows going down and then five rainbows going up. So it won't be a circle. This is going to be a half of a circle. And we're going to go down to start. So I'm going to bring my chin over to this side. I got my head over here. I'm looking out my window or I'm looking over here at this little maple leaf. And then I'm going to bring my chin down and just bring it across over here to this side, looking over here at this other maple leaf. So we're right down here, and I'm just going to go back and forth, nice and easy. It's not going to be fast. We're not going to do this one fast. We really, there aren't really a lot of fast neck exercises. We don't do it that way. Let's go ahead and now go up. So imagine again, we're looking up at a rainbow. And we're going up. We're looking up through the sky and we're going shoulder to shoulder. And we're keeping our chin up high. We got the chin up in the air. We got the nose up in the air. Moving our head around like we just don't have a care. And that's what you got to do when you're moving the neck. You got to think about it, but you don't want to again move too fast. You just want to move nice and gentle, whether it's side to side, up and down. If you're moving all the way into the rainbow, and even when we're doing the ear lift, again, this is one we don't do too fast. But let's go ahead and kind of get the side of the neck. So let that ear go up. And again, it looks like I'm tilting my head, but I'm really not. I'm lifting my ear. This is actually a really good ear lift. Look at this, everybody. A very little head tilt, but a lot of stretch. And that's what we're going for. Let's bring our head back into the middle, maybe move our shoulders around, get that trapezius kind of woken up. And then let's go up with the other ear. So again, I lift, tilted my head a little bit too much there. There we go. If I really concentrate, if you really concentrate, you can find that you'll be able to do this. You'll get that ear to lift up. You're going to stretch through the shoulder and down through here and maybe even lower that shoulder down. Let's bring it into the middle. Let's do each side one more time. So I get ear go up. We'll go five, four, three, two, one. Let's go ahead and do five, four with the shoulders. Three, there we go. Two and one. And then we're going to go with the other ear. Again, going up. And again, you just got to think straight up if you can. You'll feel your neck get longer. Two and one. Let's do another roll out of five. Four, three, two, and one. All right. Last one's going to be my favorite. I like to save the best for last. This is, remember, if there was just really one, um, this might be a contender for it because of all the technology. Right now we're on technology. And I'm not going to tell you to get off the technology because we have a lot of things that we use technology for. Well, we got to be conscious about what it's doing to us. And what is it doing, everybody, is it's bringing our head forward. The TV, the computer, the phones, and the tablets, they all draw us into them, and they stretch out these muscles. Our trapezius gets stretched. Sometimes our rhomboids even get stretched, but definitely our neck it gets pulled over, it gets pulled down, and we want to be in control of that, and we want to work to balance that out. So more important than I feel the giraffe neck is that turtle neck where we're keeping our head up high. I'm not tucking my chin, right? We're not doing a chin tuck. Head's going to be up high, and I'm going to bring it back. And you're going to feel it actually in the back of your neck. It's going to be a great way to kind of get those muscles fired up because those are the ones that are kind of being stretched out when our head's forward. And so we don't want to get the tech neck. Yes, that's a, that is that the official name? Karen would know, but oh my gosh, tech neck. It has a name. 
if it hadn't been named before, Karen just named it, and we don't want to get the tech neck. Let's go for 10, so five and five. So here we go. So I'm going to start in just kind of a natural position, and then we go out with the giraffe neck, and then we're going in with the turtle. Let's hold the turtle for five, four, three, two, one, and then out with the giraffe neck. And then in with the turtle. Five, four, three, two, one. Out giraffe. In with the turtle. Five, four, three, two, one. Imagine keeping that chin up high. Here we go. One more. Out with the giraffe. In with the turtle. The chin's up high. Five, four, three, two, one. And you can see how that's not, I'm not tucking my chin. When I tuck my chin, I'm actually stretching those muscles out, right? If you think about it, when I do the chin tuck, these muscles get longer. But when I do the head extension this way, those muscles are actually contracting and they're helping to keep my head in a nice position. We want to make sure we have that balance. It is the correct term, tech neck, everybody. Remember, our head weighs about eight pounds uh, some of us might even be, have a little heavier head. We might have a lot of knowledge in our brain. And, you know, does knowledge weigh? Does knowledge have a weight? That's interesting. Uh, but remember, when our head is out, it's putting that strain on our neck and our shoulders. And it actually gets exaggerated. The more our head's forward, the more the weight feels. So if a head was all the way out here, it could feel like maybe 15 pounds of weight where my head only weighs eight pounds. But to my body, it's going to feel like 15, and that's not a good combination. Nick, do you know, does knowledge have weight? Because uh, I don't know. And when you don't know something, you raise your shoulders. But when you raise your shoulders, you're doing a trapezius lift. And that is one of the most important muscles in our upper back, in our shoulders, is that trapezius. Remember, it makes kind of like a T across our back. And it kind of creates a bridge from one shoulder to the other going across the back right here. And so it's a, a super important muscle. And just by lifting it up, we're starting to now engage it. So we didn't we didn't use it a whole lot with the neck, even though it was there. It was attached. We focused a lot on the neck, but now we're focusing on the trapezius. The neck's warmed up. And so the trapezius could do its job. And so here we go. Let's go for maybe one more. Let's bring it up. And now you're probably starting to feel it. We did a little bit of the shoulder circles. Let's go back and forwards. So just back and forwards. This one here is going to stretch our chest. And this one here, again, we're going to be stretching our rhomboids. And you can just do this at a, at a comfortable feeling. You know, your arms just going back and forth. If you want to, you can also think about like your palms. So when I go forward, I have my palms are like facing my legs. My knuckles are out. And then when I go back, my palms are facing this way. My knuckles are backwards this way. And so that can even kind of help because remember, rotation of the arm affects the shoulder. Look at all this. I'm just turning my hand and oh my gosh, the entire arm is having a change in position. So let's go ahead and bring them back and forth. If I was up in here, I could go down and out like this, bringing them back and forth. And then, you know, that takes us, let's go ahead and do one of them. That takes us almost to a bear hug. So let's just go ahead and bring those arms. Let's bring them all the way around. And then let's give them one good hug. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one with a good squeeze. Nice. Remember that squeeze. You're not only getting across your midline, but you're applying force. You're actually applying your muscles in your mind and you're creating a force. The, again, it's a hug. But I'll tell you what, it's still firing up those muscles. And that's what we want to be doing when we're in fitness. Let's move into some classic arm movements. Let's start with the low arm circle. So this one's going to be down to the side. And we're just going to do that low arm circle. I'm just doing it with one arm. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start kind of just moving around and moving it up over my body. So now I'm starting to circle off to the side. Now I'm starting to go up a little bit higher and you just keep keep doing it yourself. Keep working it up a little higher, up a little higher until you're almost all the way up over your head. And then if you're able to go ahead and bring it down kind of in front of your body over here. So bringing it down in front of our body, bringing it down. Now I'm across my body, making that arm circle all the way across my body, going back down in front of the body and then going back over to the side. Nice. 
let's do the same thing with this arm. So uh, what could we call this could be, you know, what I just wanted to call it. It's like the car wash, you know, you got the car wash thing and the bristles are, are spinning around and they get the whole car. They go all the way from, from bottom to top, they get the wheels and they get the all the way up underneath and everything. And then they get the top. So keep on spinning it around. And I'll tell you what, this feels different for me, everybody. This feels like a much different arm circle. Ooh, we're going to have some, some, some water after this, everybody. Let's get it. Bernie's put in the first water break. She put that assignment out there. Let's move those arms around a little bit more. Keeping it going and relax down to our side. Let's go. Let's do one more with the arms. But in this case, we're going to try to use both arms together. And what we're going to do is start off on one side and we're going to circle them around over there. So kind of like the witch's pot where you're just kind of making an arm circle. But what we're going to do is we're going to now start to go around our body. And let me ask you something. Did you automatically feel muscles in your core fire up? I see some people saying yes. When you go across your body like that, now we're starting to get our core involved. So let's come over here. And again, it's as if we're just trying to maybe do a witch's pot or stir something up over here. Maybe we're shaking a ball of energy. Maybe we're doing like a raffle and we're shaking it up. Let's bring it up all the way up over our head. So we're still just kind of moving it around. You can see there's a circular movement. I'm just moving it around, using my arms. My whole body's kind of moving. Now I'm going over to this side and I'm bringing it down. Let's bring it all the way down to our side to where now I'm back. I've switched over. Now let's reverse it and reverse it. So reverse your circle. And then let's go again back up here. So we're doing every one circle, it goes up just a little bit higher until we get to the top. And then when we get to the top, we're going to take it. We're going to start bringing it back down. Every one circle is going to bring it back down a little bit. Bringing it back down, bringing it back down. And then one more. I got one more. There we go. So again, everybody, with that situation, we were always across our midline, whether it was one, except for when we were right overhead. But we were pretty much always crossing that midline. And now we're starting to engage our core. So we've got our neck. We got into our shoulders. We got our trapezius, our rhomboids, our pecs. We got the deltoids going. We'll move down the arm a little bit and do some exercises for the arm. But now we've already started to get our core. Ben's feeling that in his shoulders. Nick's got his hand up. We're going to keep his hand in the air to, um, to make him get real tired. But I already know, and I'm going to say, I'm just going to preemptively say to this, Yes, Nick, you're going to get two core exercises right after we finish up with the arms. I'm pretty sure Nick wanted to show off his abdominal squeeze. I just, I think that's, he's been training for his strength test. So check in with Nick, Ben, or Karen, or Carrie, make see if that's what he wanted to do. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's do a little bicep, tricep. And with the tricep and the bicep, we're going to do a, a little bit different than before. So we've, we've done a lot of bicep curls, but in this situation, I want us to think about doing a row. Okay. So we're going to be pulling up with the arm. So the bicep is getting shorter and then we're going to do a, a, a pull up and then we're going to do a push out. So we're going to be, and if you, if you want to, if you're able to lean forward just a little bit, you're going to maybe stick out your butt a little bit, lean forward, and we're going to pull up and then we're going to push out and then we bring our arms down. So we go one, two, and then three, and then one, two, three. If I was facing you, it'd look like this. I'm going one, two, three, and just drop them down. One, two, three. So we're doing a row. One, two, three. Let's try it again. We're going one. We're rowing. We got those rhomboids going. We got the biceps going. We're going to press. That's going to get the triceps and the chest going. And then when we lower everything back down, believe it or not, that's using a lot of muscles in your trapezius and in your back, those muscles also in the armpit. So here we go. So let's go row one, two, press three, drop them down. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, if you really want to try this out, try to lean for it a little bit more and let's try with one arm and then we'll switch to the other arm so i'm going to lean forward a little bit more and here we go one two three dropping it down one two three again from this side one two 
three. Letting it drop down. One, two, three. And what we're doing, everybody, is we're doing the row. We're doing a press and letting them down. By having that little bit of a lean, we add a little bit of resistance to that exercise. But we're still getting the biceps and the triceps and we're getting the whole team going. But it's different than doing a bicep curl. Because in the bicep curl, go ahead and do a couple bicep curls. We're not really having to use our back. Your rhomboids, you know, they might be working a little bit, but they're not having to do a whole lot of work. Your trapezius isn't having to do a whole lot of work. The muscle that's known as your lats, it's not having to do too much work when you're like this. But as soon as you go forward a little bit, now all of these muscles here and up here, they're all going to get involved. And they're going to be a teammate with the bicep. They're the bicep's best friends. And they're the big best friends. Same thing with your triceps. You have your pecs and kind of your deltoids. They all kind of work together uh, with the armpit to make sure everything works out good. I keep talking about the armpit. Let's get it involved. Let's go for armpit squeeze. Then let's have a water break. Then let's bring up Nick for Nick's core. I got to give it a name. Nick's core combo. That's a great name. It's two exercises for Nick's core combo. So we're going to go armpit squeeze. After the armpit squeeze, what I want you to do is an elbow movement. You'll see me moving my elbows around. You can do any elbow movement you want, moving them around, kayak row, whatever it wants to be. It'll be free movement, but think about it with the elbows. You can do little elbow circles, and then we're going to squeeze. We're going to take another water break. Yeah, let's do a water break now. Good call, Bernie. Bernie's going in water break two. Let's try to get five in. All right, Bernie. Let's go for five water breaks. Make sure you got you got two down. Let's make sure we get five in. Water is one of the most important things while we're exercising. If you do feel like you're hungry and you need to maybe have a snack, that might be okay. Some workouts it wouldn't be. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to give the squeeze. So let's go in five, four, three, two, one, and squeeze. Squeeze your arms against your side. You're going to know that feeling. It's going to feel like everything there has just become really good friends. And then we're going to go three, two, one, and then we're just moving around, just moving those elbows around, free movement. Again, you can kind of do whatever you want to do. Just think about the elbows moving, and we're going to go three, two, one, and squeeze. You squeeze, squeeze, squeeze your arms against your side. You're going to really get a lot of muscles happy if you do this. Keep it going. Three, two, one. And then let's move it around again. Nice. Going with a little maybe kayak row. Kayak in one way. Kayak in the other way. Moving all around. Double circle. Circles over my head. And then we're going to go three, two, one. And squeeze, squeeze. Give it a squeeze. Right in here. You couldn't even get a piece of paper right between there. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Three, two, one. And moving it around. Here we go. Moving it around one more time. Moving and grooving, getting your core moving too. Getting our core warmed up for Nick. And here we go. Three, two, one. Squeeze, squeeze your armpits. They're so underappreciated. They're so important. If your armpit's not strong, your arm will not be strong. It can't be as strong as its foundation. Three, two, one. And relax. Do a little free movement. Shake it off. Who knows about, like, you know, doing the arm shake off. That's kind of a fun one to do. Maybe move our wrists around a little bit. Kind of fling it off. Imagine you got like some, some like a mud or maybe some clay. Maybe you're building a model out of clay. You got clay on your hands. You're trying to flick it off, kind of moving the hands around. What about up and down? Kind of like we're playing on like a bongo drum. Who's ever played a bongo drum before? Who's ever heard of the bongo drum? You know, sometimes I go down to the beach and there's like a guy sitting down there playing the bongo drum. And I feel like with the bongo drum, it's, it's a lot of wrist. The wrist tap. You're not hitting it with your arm. You're, you're just kind of getting it with the wrist. If anybody's ever played a bongo drum, let me know if that's right or not. Uh, again, you can hit the bongo drum on the sides. Bongo. I need a bongo drum now. What? Do, I don't have anything around here that could be a bongo drum. Oh, dude, look at this. This is Sophia's little toy. It doesn't work that good, but hey, you get the idea. Bongo all around. And again, moving our wrists all around. I don't think that would help with the bongos, but it is going to help in a little bit because we're going to do a new boxing routine right after Nick. So when Nick's finished up with his core exercises, everybody, we're going to do a new um, kind of go into the boxing gym. Think about it that way. That's what it's going to be like. Um, was I correct on Nick? 
Is that what was going on? Yep. All right. We got a thumbs up. All right, everybody. Let's have a sip of water. This one, this one doesn't count as three. We're going Bernie calls five. That's an extra water breaks an hour at three water breaks with Bernie getting two. We got Sammy in the house, Mary Jo. Hey, we got North County in the house. Hey, everybody, North County. There's Byron, Team Gavel. We got a great group of folks on here. We got Nick's getting ready, Sarah, Catherine, Sopizio Center. Hey, Sopizio, there's my friend Tyler. What's up, Tyler? It's great to see you, my friend. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, Ashton and Keith. Gerber Workshop, everybody. Oh, it's great to see everybody on here getting the exercise going before the holiday. And Nick, are you ready, Nick? Here you go. Get, get yourself unmuted. All right, everybody. Nick's in the house. Nick's been training. He is getting ready for his 12th and final of the year strength test. We know on that strength test is the plank. The plank is the exercise where you squeeze your abdominals and you're going to lift your body off the ground. And here we go. We're up. And Nick, you, you want to keep those mats there? Oh, he's going with it. Here we go. Oh, there you go. Six, seven, eight, nine. Squeeze your core. Here we go. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and squeezing 21. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and breathing, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, squeeze and breathe. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Go, Nick. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Keep breathing. Keep it squeezing. 73, 74, 75, 76, 77. Wow. 77, Nick. Great job on your squeeze. Are you feeling ready for your strength test in December? Hey, I need a month training. You got time. You got time. You got a whole month. You can take you can take your strength test on on at the end of the at the month. That way that gives you plenty of time to train. What's our next core exercise going to be? We will do a squeeze bag. Okay. Five, thirty, one. We will go down with the butt. Which is part. five. Four, three, two, and one. Take the back. Three, five, thirty, two, and one. With the butt. One, two, three, four, and five. And then keep part or the by body doing one. Twig me by body doing one. Then we back by body doing one. And do all that by body doing one. Deep by by body doing one. Twig me by body doing one. Deep back. I mean, they'll be back. Bye, buddy, do and one. And well, that bye, buddy, do and one. Nice job, Nick. Great job. How do you feel? Good and ready. Good. Are you ready to do some good at the boxing gym? Oh, yeah. All right, everybody. So go ahead and let's have a sip of water. We're going to go to the boxing gym. That's going to be our next workout. And we're going to do some uh, imaginary boxing. We're going to have some pictures up on the background that shows some people kind of doing the move that we're going to be doing. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do, though, is we're going to work on just kind of strengthening up our wrist and our hand. And we'll do that kind of when we're in the gym, kind of looking around. And then we're going to go into the exercises. So we're going to have hand and wrist movements. We're going to have 30 seconds to kind of get ourselves ready. We'll kind of get loosened up. Then we're going to do some jump rope. 
So if you're standing up and you're going to be working out with us, imagine you have a jump rope and we're going to be jumping rope. If you're sitting down, you're going to have your hands out to your side and you're going to be moving them at the elbow. So this is an elbow, important elbow exercise. And we're going to be moving that jump rope around. Uh, after that, we're going to be hitting different types of punching bags. So we did it on Monday. And I know I think it was um, Evan was on there, I think. And we were hitting that speed bag. We're going to have that. But we're also going to have the heavy bag. And we're going to have a reactive bag, the one that kind of moves around. Um, so we're going to be able to follow along. And I think we'll do this maybe two times. So we'll get a little bit of practice. We're also going to get our heart rate going. So let's go ahead and do a heart rate check. I can feel mine. If I couldn't find it here, I could keep looking a little bit. Or like right here, you can see I'm wearing my watch. If I move my watch down just a little bit and I put my hand right there, I can feel a little bump, bump, bump. Um, there's only a few places in our body where we can actually connect with our heart on that kind of really uh, neat level where you're actually you're feeling your own heartbeat. Um, we normally don't feel when our body is working. We just we just know it's working but with the heartbeat. You can feel that heartbeat. So let's get ready for this. We're going to bring up the new background. It's going to change every 30 seconds. And so that's going to let you know that we're on to the new one. And again, here we go. So we're in the boxing gym. So we're going to work on maybe our hands, maybe making a fist, kind of opening our hands up, making a couple of fists, working on the wrist, you know, with a lot of boxing. When you're hitting the boxing bags, you're using your wrist. So we can kind of move our wrist around in the fist position. There you go. Nice job, Sammy. Looking good. Moving those fists, you know, and kind of getting our arms a little loosened up, getting the trapezius kind of loosened up. You know, we're getting ready to kind of do some jump ropes. So here we go. So now we got the jump rope. So we're going to start going and we're going to pretend that we got the jump rope going and we're just jumping up and down. And you can see I'm, I'm getting blurry. The camera can't keep up and that's OK. And so we're just going to get that jump rope going, jumping around. The good thing about this jump rope is mine's imaginary. I don't have to worry about it hitting me in the legs. And so it's just kind of moving around. Here we go. Jumping around, jumping around. All right. So now we're on the speed bag. So this is the one where we're going to have our hands up in the air and we're just kind of rolling away. There you go. Nice job, Carrie. There you go. Byron, keep them rolling. There you go. One and two and one and two and one and two. Just like that. Left and right. Left and right. Left and right. Just going around in a circle. Nice job, everybody. Keeping it going. Keeping it going. Keeping those elbows up and just keep hitting that bag. It's going to keep him right back to you. Here we go. All right. Now we're on the bag where we got to hit it and then we got to move and then hit it and then move. Hit it. And then you're going to move because this bag's going to be swinging around. So we hit it and then we move. Hit. And then move. I'm doing maybe two moves going one, two. Hit. One, two. Hit. One, two. There we go. And we're moving around and Sometimes they might call it bobbing and weaving. We're bobbing and we're weaving. And we're trying not to have the bag hit us. All right, so now here we're on the heavy bag. With this one, we're going to use our hips. So we're going to be hitting into it. And you can see when I hit, my whole body is turning. And I'm using my hip to hit into the bag. And I'm hitting and hitting. And we're kind of doing the body shots with the heavy bag. You're kind of working the body shots. And so we're going side to side, maybe some, some punches, but we're always twisting, twisting and punching. Twist, okay. And here's the shadow boxing. So this is where you, oh, the shadow boxing only lasted for a second. I didn't make it 30 seconds. Womp, womp. Let's shadow box in this because this is 30 seconds. So here we go. We're back in the ring. And this is where you're just putting it all together. And you're just kind of boxing with yourself. Who thought that shadow boxing picture was just hilarious? I did. Come on, here we go. Let's keep it going. And so this is where you're just putting it all together. Some little punches, some jabs, and you're just kind of moving around. And the picture might, it might let us know when we switch over. Let's find out. Keep it going. Keep it going. Now my curiosity is, is up. All right, keeping it going. We're going to, we might end up going right into jumping jack. So keep that little shadow box going. Keep your hands up. You always want to be in protection of your face. 
So we got our face protected and we're just working little punches, moving our hands around, moving your body around. There you go, Mary Jo. Ain't nobody going to mess with you, Mary Jo. Nice job. Keep it going. All right. Now here we are. Ooh, back into the jump rope again. Ooh, what is it? Ooh, I, I saw something about meditation on the app. I like that. Keeping it going. We're doing jump rope. We're going for round two. And that's what we're going to do. We'll do two rounds. So right now, if you're not jumping, you should be moving those arms around. And you can even do like a little squat bounce. You can do a little squat bounce. And so you don't have to jump. If you want to work on your jumping, you can jump. All right, here we go. We're back on the back on this one here. We just got to keep it hitting, keeping it going. There you go. Yeah, Mary Jo. Woo, she's got it. She's got the feeling. There you go, Byron. Nice job, everybody. There you go, Carrie. Keeping it moving. Keep those elbows up, everybody. Elbows up. And this bag's just gonna go. That's the sound of that bag. When you go into a boxing gym and you hear that, that's what you'd hear. All right, this one, remember, punch, and then we're moving, punch, and then we're moving. So we're bobbing and weaving. We're getting low, and then we're moving side to side, punch, moving, punch, moving, punch. Moving, here we go, there you go, punch. And this thing gets wild sometimes. If you hit it, it might you might hit it, and it's, it's going all over the place. So you gotta move around, punch, and then you might have to move backwards. Punch, punch. All right, here's the heavy bag. So boom, boom, we're hitting that heavy bag. And remember, we're using our hips. You can see the girl here, she's really leaning into it. And that's what you wanna do. You wanna lean into it. Ooh, we could do a meditation. We might be able to do a meditation. Nice. Keep it hitting. Keep it hitting. Keep it going. Nice job. Nice job. Hitting that heavy bag and turning your body. Punch, 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 punch. There we go. Going side to side, leaning into it. And there's the shadow again. All right. One more time. Just shadow boxing. Again, putting all your kind of moves together. And then you're just kind of moving around. And you just kind of boxing at your shadow there. You're kind of making those moves and just pretend you could imagine you got kind of a pretend, you know, person that you're sparring with. Maybe they got the, the mitts on, you know, so you're pop, pop, and you're hitting the mitts, pop, 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 pop. Everywhere they put a mitt, pop, pop, pop. Nice job, Sammy, pop, pop. There we go. Hitting those mitts. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's check that heartbeat. Oh, yeah, mine. I got my heartbeat going up a little bit. That's what I wanted to go for. Nice job, everybody. Again, remember, when we're doing exercises like boxing training, that's absolutely going to be a cardiovascular workout in addition to the patterns, in addition to the, all the patterns that we're working on, all the repetition that we're getting in. It's really going to reinforce for our mind. I'm a little bit out of breath, too. You can tell. I'm going to take a second to breathe. Um, and that was something, you know what, who, who can remember? And I, I think the answer is not at all. How many times did I talk about breathing and remember to breathe during that five minutes of boxing? I don't think, I, I don't think I brought it up and I'm feeling that I bet if we did that again, but we focused on breathing, it might feel a little different. We're not going to do that right now, but in the future we'll do that. And when we do it again, make sure to remind me. Say, hey, let's make sure we focus on breathing and let's see if maybe we can actually extend the time and still feel even better. You know, one of the things about endurance that's so, you know, important is, again, it's allowing you to sustain on your activity, uh, but it's also going to allow you to sustain your activity and not get tired, not get worn out and not feel afterwards like you then can't do anything more. You know, we want to stimulate our bodies. We want to get them active, but we don't want to annihilate our bodies. We don't want to hurt them and destroy them and cause injury. And so you got to make sure when you're training and we're, we're working on these things um, that we're kind of doing it in a way that feels good and is fun for us, um, but also is, is helping us to get strong. Let's have a sip of water, everybody. And then we're going to go ahead and let's bring up um, a leadership. What do you guys, what are the, what's the, oh, what about Carrie? I, I was thinking, what about bringing up a leader? And then I was like, what about bringing up an, a co-host? 
And uh, Kay, what do you think about water bottle workout? Yeah, we can do that. All right, everybody. We haven't had Carrie leading us here in a couple of weeks, so this is a treat. And I have a water bottle here. It's about halfway full of water. You could have any kind of water bottle you want. Just make sure that it's capped, right? We don't want to yeah. lose. We don't want to lose water all over our computer. Yeah. All right, Carrie. What are we going to do first? Um, up and down. Nice. Put both hands on there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. And then one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The other wrist or hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're going to shake. Make sure your water is closed. Like that top, everybody. All right, here we go. Ready? Yep. Set. Go. Get that bottle shaking, everyone. Up and down, up and down, up and down. It's like the celebration, like we won the World Series. And they're spraying the champagne over everybody. Up and down. Nice job. It's like the shake weight. Somebody made a shake weight. All right, now which one? Forward and back, forward and back. Forward and back. Nice job. What about the over the shoulder one? Oh, nice. Over the head. Over the head. Shake it up. And then shoulder. And then the shoulder like we're doing the cheer. Nice job. And the other shoulder? Yes. Whee! I'm feeling it. Okay. All right. I was going to keep going until you said to stop. I thought I said, you know what? Let's just shake it up, and then let's see how long Carrie's going to let us do the shake for. I thought that was actually a really good amount of time. Everybody, when you're doing a water bottle shake, you're not just making the movement, but you're applying pressure, and you're holding that object steady as the water inside is moving around. So there's an extra degree of uh, difficulty when you're doing the water bottle shake. Carrie, thank you so much for leading us through with that. Again, everybody give Carrie a round of applause. You're welcome. Happy Thanksgiving to Carrie. Happy Thanksgiving. And um, let's see, who do we have coming up next? We can have uh, Nick and um, uh, Byron or... Nick and Byron? Let, let's do Nick and Byron and then Bernie can uh, bring it on home. Okay. All right, everybody. So we're going to bring... The boys up here and everybody has seen this before. And remember, you can follow along or you can watch these guys and um, you can try to. Uh, do we need do uh, someone to do play by play? I'll, I'll do the play by play. I, I enjoy it. All right, here we go. So we've got Byron starting off with the sandbag on his head. He's got it up there. Nick's got it up there. Nice job. Oh, here we go. So it's like a game of horse. So there you go. You got to move a little bit. Nice. There we go. Byron's moving forwards and backwards, doing the neck balance with the sandbag. Nick, you got it too, man. Nice job. So Nick's got that move too. So that's two moves down. We got both moves going. Byron's still moving around a little bit, giving Nick a really good challenge, saying, well, if you can move forward and backward, let's try side to side. 
we want to always find the challenge. As soon as we get good at something, let's see, let's see where that takes us. And look at Byron again, so stoic, looking so strong. He's got the muscle control on his neck and he's able to move his body around while keeping that neck strong and keeping that sandbag in position. Excellent move, Byron. And Nick, there you go, man. Nick's got it too. Byron, what great leadership. Through your determination and Nick's perseverance, you guys have figured out this one and made it a really good exercise. Drop it on the ground. You can pop it up. You can pop it up like a hot potato. There you go. Side to side around the back, moving it around like a flapjack. There you go. Bringing it up, going back and forth, right hand, left hand. There you go. Do a little patty cake right there. Flipping it over, right hand, left hand. Pat that sandbag. There you go. Give it a pat. Give it another pat. Pat going back. My mom's name is Pat. Here we go. Don't do that to my mom. Here we go. Going around the back, off the ground, popping it up. Nice job. We call that the floor sweeper. So he's getting down low with that sandbag. And now we're going into the twist. So this is a right side twist move. He's going to twist his body over and then bring it over to the left side, kind of winding on up, rotating that body. And there you go, everybody. You can try these moves out now or you can try them out later. And look at that. He's going behind his back two times. He's got it up there around his back a third time. Nice job. So three times, four times around the back. And going back into that left side twist. Excellent. Nice, Byron, going over to the right side twist. So, again, getting those hips moving and grooving. There he goes. He's showing us backside view of how he hands off that bag. Look at that. Right there behind his back. He just passes that bag around. And you almost got to kind of toss it to yourself. You got to give yourself uh, the confidence to know that you're going to be there to catch it. And there we go. Byron's going back and forth. One, two, one, two. Around the back. It's what he's going to do. Getting ready for the switcheroo, but not before the figure eight. Look at this. Going with the figure eights behind the knees. Going around the knees and tapping it off the ground. Going behind the back. I thought he was going to hang loose there for a second. And let's see. Oh, yeah. I think he did a shoulder tap. He's hanging it out right there. What about with the bag on your back? What about with the bag on the on the back? Remember, everybody, hang it out. Put that bag up on there. Get some balance. There you go, Nick. Get down low. There you go, Nick. Nice job. Stay low. Staying low. Nice. Oh, so close. Byron's hitting that speed bag again, going and doing the reverse. Oh, look at you, Nick. Look at you. You got the balance, everybody. You know Nick is concentrating on that move right there. Nick, I'm proud of you, man. You're doing it right now. Byron's giving you a round two, giving you a round two. There you go. You know what you got to do. Nice job, Nick. Byron, again, that's the second time this workout where you've taken Nick and helped him up to get to a new level. Great job. Keep it going. Get ready to switch it up to that baton. Swinging the arm, going for the arm swing, going for the baseball pitcher on the mound. He's getting warmed up. He's going to throw a strike. He's going to switch it up. Maybe he's left-handed. Maybe he's right-handed. I don't know. Because look at him go. Nice. And he passed it off to the side. Now he's going to get the baton. And remember, you can do this with an exercise stick. You can use a resistance bar. Um, you could use a um, pool noodle. You could use a golf club. Uh, Byron, what are you going to have us do first up here? He's going to hold it with two hands. 